Since his debut in the 1986 Transformers movie, Unicron has been a polarizing figure within the Transformers franchise. So today, we're going to take a look at the origins of Unicron and his brother Primus. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want to learn more about your favorite Transformers. Now to do this, we have to go way back before the dawn of time, where an extra-dimensional entity known as the One desired to explore the universe, and so he created the being known as Unicron. The One would then subdivide Unicron, creating his twin and eternal archenemy, Primus. Both brothers were multiverse singularities, unique in all realities, but where Unicron could only exist in one dimension at a time, with the ability to move between them at will, Primus existed simultaneously in all realities at once. These two brothers would embody the basic concept of reality, order, and chaos, and their continued existence is necessary for the stability of the multiverse. As Unicron and Primus traveled through the cosmos exploring different universes, it became apparent to Primus that Unicron was a corrupt being, and so he took it upon himself to put a stop to the threat posed to all existence by his sibling. In combat, Primus was no match for Unicron. However, he proved himself to be his brother's superior when he would shift their battle to the astral plane and then back to the physical world once more, only to have both their essences trapped in the form of metallic planetoids. It was this act of sacrifice that Primus hoped to contain Unicron's evil forever. Unfortunately for Primus, Unicron would learn to transform his planetary form even further, allowing himself to now transform into a gigantic robot. Primus would eventually adapt this same idea to suit his own needs, creating a group of 13 robots that possessed the ability to change shape and would go on to challenge Unicron in battle. You probably know of these 13 robots as the original 13 Primes, often spoken of as myth or legend but their story is for another time. The war between Unicron and Primus would eventually come to its seeming end during a climactic battle in which one of the 13, originally known as Megatronus, who would forever afterwards be known as the Fallen, betrayed Primus and became an acolyte of Unicron. The battle would end when the Fallen and Unicron were sucked into a black hole and disappeared from reality. With Unicron gone for now, Primus entered an eons-long slumber within the core of Cybertron, preventing Unicron from detecting him through the mental link the brothers shared. The story of Unicron and Primus would continue in the 1989 Marvel Comics continuity, where in story we fast forward millions of years later to the year 1990. The Autobots are now led by Emirate Zaron in a civil war against the Decepticons and their leader Scorponok. While exploring the middle of Cybertron, a group of Transformers would locate the sleeping form of Primus at Cybertron's core. But during a battle, the Decepticon pretender Octopunch would attempt to shoot Grimlock in the back. The stray laser blast would ricochet off his armor and consequently hit Primus, causing him to wake up from his slumber and emit a primal scream. A scream so loud that it sent shockwaves through the planet before he immediately slipped back into his sleep. As a precaution, Emirate Zaron manages to teleport the Autobots to the planet Earth. Meanwhile, Grimlock is worried about the consequences of what just happened, and even though Bumblebee assures him that no one else heard the scream, far out in deep space, the scream alerted the one being they had hoped to avoid, Unicron. Now that Unicron has been alerted to the location of his brother Primus, Unicron would send his heralds Hook, Line, and Sinker, as well as a Galvatron from a different future where he had succeeded in consuming Cybertron, to attack the present-day Cybertron in preparation of his arrival. The only problem? Galvatron was not content to serve under Unicron, so he executed a plan to capture the Autobot leader, Emirate Zaron, and forced him to fully awaken the sleeping Primus. With Primus fully awakened, he would possess the body of Emirate Zaron and would summon all Transformers across the universe back to Cybertron. Autobots and Decepticons united under the name of Primus to prepare for battle against Unicron. But what Primus was unaware of was that Unicron had placed a sleeper program in the minds of some of Primus's creations, 
allowing him to command them through a mental connection, creating the cultists of Unicron. Primus would go on to name Optimus Prime as the leader of his Cybertronian alliance, which consequently drew out the cultists into battle, where the cultists would attempt to assassinate Optimus Prime. The cultists would fail in their attempt, but was the perfect distraction for the arrival of Unicron. With Unicron looming over the planet Cybertron, he would transform into his robot form and rip into the surface of the planet, sampling its metal and declaring it succulent. While the Transformers on Cybertron began to flee in a blind panic, Primus, still possessing the body of Zaron, urges Optimus and Scorponok to come and unite their warriors in the battle against the Chaos Bringer. Primus himself initiates an attack against the Dark God, but Unicron sees through what appears to be a ruse and destroys the body of Zaron, robbing Primus of his host body. Frustrated that this so-called Cybertronian alliance isn't putting up a fight, Galvatron blasts Unicron at full power in an effort to humble him. While his attack does virtually no damage, it does as Galvatron intended, to inspire the Transformers to stand and fight. Soon, a planet-wide battle is raging and many Transformers are killed, including the Decepticon leader, Scorponok. Growing tired of the battle, Unicron would revert to his planet mode and prepare to devour the planet Cybertron entirely. But with the creation matrix in hand, Optimus Prime would come to the realization that the battle between brothers that began eons ago would only end with the death of Primus and quite possibly himself, so that all may live. Optimus would then fly with the matrix directly into Unicron's maw, overloading him with terrible, wonderful life causing Unicron to explode as the survivors look on from the surface of Cybertron. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Transformers lore.